What is up, my friends? It is another match day on Anfield Agenda. It is Crystal Palace travelling to Anfield and reading the chat. I think we all just want one thing, a win. That's all that we want. That's all that we need today, just a win, just to get the confidence back. And then we'll look at what happens with Arsenal in the half past four game as well. So yeah, hope you've all had a lovely weekend. For those asking, it is a 2pm kickoff today, so we still have 59 minutes to go until we're underway. Team news has just been confirmed. I can say to you that categorically the team is this, because there's been some fake teams doing the round. Alisson is back in goal. This is not a test. This is real. Alisson is back in goal. Then it's Endo, Van Dijk, Canade. Diaz, Nunes, McAllister, Salah, Jones, Robertson, Bradley. So in positional order, it's Allison in goal, Bradley at right back, Robbo at left back, Virgil van Dijk and Ibrahim and Kanade are centre-backs, Endo the holding midfielder. Then it's going to be uh, Alexis McAllister and Curtis Jones with Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunes and Lucho. You're attacking 3-0. So are we ready? Positivity at the ready? Because we need it today, folks. We need those positive vibes Great to be with you, and uh, yeah, hope you all had a lovely weekend. My friends, today we are being brought to you with thanks to our friends at Manscaped. We'll give you the full ad read later on, but for now, just remember, if you'd like to order anything from manscaped.com, you can get yourself 20% off and free shipping. That is 20% off and free shipping using our code ANFIELD20. Uh, Ali is back, I know, I know. Look, I've said all along, Kelleher's been brilliant. He's been an absolutely fantastic deputy, but we have the best goalkeeper in the world. And the best goalkeeper in the world is available today, which is fantastic. Uh, how is Elliot not starting? I'm baffled. I'm with you. I am with you. You know me, big fan of Harvey Elliott, but I'm also, I'm also willing to give whatever team Klopp puts out a chance because today we just need to get the win, right? We need to make sure... That we get three points on the board, put us back on top of the table before Arsenal take on their opponents later on this evening. Uh, oh my god, Alison is back, said Ollie the Red. Welcome in, Ollie. Great to have you, my man. 11 different countries in one team. Is it? I didn't. Oh, yeah. Well, in. There you go. I never even copped that one. Uh, Danny Bingham, how are you? Uh, what's the AA email? Wondering if I can. Swap Belfast tickets for Dublin. We can't do that for you, Danny. Um, it's not. It's a Ticketmaster thing, bro. You know, we can't. Well, I don't have the ability to do that for you. Now, if you don't get any joy and you want to come to the Dublin show instead of the Belfast, I can sort you out that way, but I can't swap the tickets for you. We don't have the ability to do that, unfortunately, mate. Um, but the email is contact at anfieldagenda.com. Contact at anfieldagenda.com. But don't worry, I won't leave you stuck. If you want to come to the Dublin show, we'll figure it out. But we just don't have the ability to do that with Ticketmaster. Uh, what have we got? Whenever Elliot starts, he is less effective than when he comes on as a sub. So Damien... Um, Boy, Cechic isn't on the bench, said Miles. Wasn't expecting him to be, to be honest. You know, he's still got to build up some more minutes. He was out pretty much the entire season. On the bench, though, since we haven't spoke about it yet, it's Kelleher, Gomez, Soboslai, Gakpo, Elliot, Jota, Gravenberg, Trent and Kwanzaa. That is your Liverpool bench today. Um, for those saying, Craig, Gakpo should have started. Look, as I've said, I've no issues with whatever team's put out today. I just want to make sure we get the win. We'll all have our own opinions on who we think should and shouldn't have started. And um, I think all of them that you guys have put out there probably have some very good points behind them. But this is the team that Clapo has put out. And this is the team that's going to hopefully get the job done. Uh, Mohamed Chami, first super chat of the day. Thank you, mate. You didn't put a comment in, my friend. But thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to us. Alisson starting, yes, he is. Ashley Dooley said, Kelleher's been great, but it's brilliant to see Alisson back. I think he has more presence than Kelleher. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you fully on that, Ashley. Um, he does have more presence. He's a bigger dude, and he commands his area a bit better. So I'm with you on that. Kelleher's a great shot stopper. But yes, Ali does have that physical presence. Do you think Trent gets a run out today? I hope so, Toby Rose. I hope so, my friend. Because the sooner the better we get him back, right? So, yes, he's on the bench today. Jurgen did say previously when he was on the bench that he wasn't expecting him to get a run out. But fingers crossed today we get some uh, we get some minutes in Trent's legs before the momentous come back on Thursday. Because it is happening, right? 
We're all on the same page there. We'll get to that on Thursday. Don't worry. Uh, Josh T2802. Welcome to Anfield Gender Ultras, mate. Bench is now scrolling along the bottom, say the boys of the Anfield Agenda team. So there we go. If you do need to have a look at the bench, it is going to be scrolling across the bottom, just under the graphic that says LFC Watch Along. Uh, that's a strong bench, and if all players stay fit, we should finish the season very strongly, said Paul Howey. I agree, Paul. Uh, I think Darwin has to score today or Jota in, said Daniel. Yeah, again, mate, I, I don't have any disagreements with you on that one. Uh, whoever starts up front today... We've got to get goals out of them. And hopefully a clean sheet from the back line as well. Uh, Warriors amongst men are, says Ara, Bradley is overrated. Nah, he isn't. But look, you're entitled to your own opinion, as I always say. But he isn't overrated. How could he be? He's only broken into the first team this year and has been doing a very good job. But um, I'm not... I'm not I'm not up for the negativity, you know. If you want to talk about players being overrated, that is, of course, your privilege. But I don't have to agree with it. And I don't, because Bradley's brilliant. And you're spamming it now, so I'm afraid that's bye-bye to you, dude. We don't do spamming here on the channel, but, you know, off you pop, anywho. So, who else have we got in? Will I be watching Villa versus Arsenal? Yes and no. So, I will be doing my post-match stuff still at that point, Ryan. I will have the... Um, player ratings video match reaction to do but i will put the second half on when i'm done absolutely and i'll be back on tonight at half past eight so we can see what's going on with the league anyway so um yeah extra long shift today but i love it wouldn't be anywhere else so we will be doing this uh obviously the post-match stuff and then i'll be back on a half eight tonight and we'll talk through whatever happens in the arsenal game holly Holmes said bradley's boss yeah, yeah he is he is well in holly can I name the subs real quick? Absolutely, my friend. No problemo. Subs are as follows. Quivin Kelleher, Joe Gomez, Dominic Sobosly, Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott, Diogo Jota, Ryan Gravenberg, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Jarrell Kwanzaa. Let's have a look at our opponents for the first time today as well. Uh, we have got Dean Henderson in goal for Palace. Then it's Munoz, Anderson, and Lerma. Are we going to have another repeat of Anderson versus Darwin battle? times i don't know what is it number four or five then there's tyreek mitchell will hughes adam wharton and nathaniel klein starting on the right side alise mateta and eze are the attacking options for palace plenty of speed on that uh on those palace wings with eze and alise on either side so definitely have to be careful of the counter attack today now my friends i know I know that you're all waiting and you're all really anxious to see the Manscaped ad read, but don't worry, here it is. It is that time of the summer where it is time to make sure that your own personal pitch is mowed, ready to go and playable. And there's only one lawnmower that's fit, to the job, fit for the job and that is the Lawnmower 5.0 that is part of the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from our friends at Manscaped. It's designed to elevate your grooming game uh, and make sure that you are ready for the summer festivities. And it will be a festival. Don't you make no mistake about it. You get yourself well groomed down there. It's going to be a festival. Join myself and 10 million other men worldwide who trust Manscaped for our male grooming needs. The fantastic Lawnmower 5.0. What was that? Is it a 4.0? No. 5.0. Ultra electric trimmer features skin safe technology guarding your family jewels against any grooming mishaps. It also features Manscaped's brightest ever LED spotlight so you can shave your crown jewels in the dark if you so wish. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra also includes the Weed Whacker, which is a nose hair trimmer and an ears hair trimmer. Also, Manscaped's two liquid formulations and a couple of free gifts as well, the Shed Travel Bag and the Boxer Briefs. For all you bearded kings, Manscaped also has the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Obviously, I don't need the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Why would I? Look at me. I look like somebody who's just gone into first year and hasn't yet had to shave. So yes, they do have the Beard Hedger Pro Kit as well. But most importantly, if you take one thing from this, remember this. You can get yourself 20% off and free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com by using our discount code ANFIELD20 or by scanning the QR code on the screen or using the link in the description. And thank you so much to our uh, friends at Manscaped. They've been amazing supporters of us here on the channel. And without their... Uh, contributions we wouldn't be able to keep the lights on so thank you so much to our friends at Manscaped Trent on the bench is yes he is on the bench for those asking Manscaped are cooking absolutely absolutely do you know how good it is my missus robbed my first Manscaped set I'm not even lying 
Uh, and then she robbed the shared travel bag for the new one. Because, and I quote, you don't need to shed the new one. I think I need the newer one. So I'm taking the newer one and you can have the old one. That's a direct quote from her yesterday. So there you go. She starts her fire brigade training tomorrow and she robbed my shed. Not the one from the back garden. The one from the manscape set. Oh, are we ready? Are we ready? I came in good form today, folks. We're ready to go. Do you think Bournemouth was robbed yesterday by United? So, a couple of things. One, never a penalty in a million years. The United was never a handball. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Uh, and also the last decision, the one that was a potential penalty for Bournemouth. I would have liked the ref to have gone over and had a look at the monitor to make a judgment for himself on where he thinks the contact ended or started. So United didn't do any of the robbing. It was just the referees again who were poor. United just accepted the decisions that went their way. So I've nothing against United for yesterday, but I do strongly believe that was never, ever a penalty. Like, how am I supposed to believe that was a penalty but Martin Odegaard against us wasn't. It's nonsensical, but we all know this. And I think uh, I think anybody who's had a look at that uh, situation yesterday would agree that it, it was never in a million years a penalty. Uh, somebody said, can I read through the bench? Yes, absolutely. The bench, it is scrolling across the bottom of the screen, by the way, but it is small writing, so you might not be able to see it. Uh, Kelleher, Gomez, Soboslai, Gakpo, Elia, Jota, Gravenberg, Trent and Kwanzaa. That is your bench today, my friend. Troy Miller, thank you for the super chat, mate. Or You didn't put a comment in, Troy, but thank you nonetheless. Uh, do you think Alisson's rushed back into the squad? Mm, I don't think we could call three months out rushed. Uh, but unlike outfield players, if a goalkeeper is fit, you know, they don't really need to build up match fitness in the sense that outfield players would. So, uh, no, I think if he's good to go, if he's free to kick the ball and he's free with all his movements, then no problem dropping him back in. Would love a clean sheet. So would I, James. So would I. Because a clean sheet would be a great foundation to work off. And I feel like if we could say we're keeping a clean sheet, we'll find a way to score. So, yes, I'll take that. So how do you guys feel about those decisions yesterday in the United game? I mean, I guess the, the second incident right at the end, the penalty one for Bournemouth, that was subjective. Fair enough. You know, was it starting outside the box? Did it continue inside the box? But that handball was absolutely farcical. I'll never, as long as I live, agree that that was a handball. Uh, hope Alisson's fit enough to make good saves. To Joseph in the house, he well, he wouldn't start if if he wasn't ready and sharp, he wouldn't be on the uh, on the pitch, mate. You know. But I get it. Look, let's just look at the positive. He's back, and that that's a good that's good news for us. We'll take that. I think Klopp has made a mistake by playing Jones to Tony Miller. Um, again, mate. I appreciate every viewpoint, but the team is the team. You know, we've got to just hope that the 11 that have started the game are good enough to get the job done. You know, I probably would have made a change or two myself, Tony, but ultimately, this is the 11, so let's see how we get on. Uh, the handball pen was ridiculous, said Zerug. No handball. I was watching it, said Footy Girl. Never a pen, said John Power. Never a pen, said 1174. And look, thank you guys for all your feedback on that as well. It really does uh, help. Because sometimes you're watching these things and you think, am I wrong? And then I remember, Craig, you're never wrong, dude. Don't be doubting yourself. But no, honestly, I thought I was seeing things. Because it was like ping, ping, and the ref points immediately to the spot. I was like, wow, that was uh, nonsense. But I'm glad you guys agreed. Elliot deserves a star, Craig, in my opinion. Revenite, I'm, wi I'm with you. You know, I've been putting my predicted teams out and Elliot's been in them for the last few weeks. So I'm with you. I would have I would have given him a nod. But look, I'm honestly, I'm just willing to give whoever Klopp picks the opportunity to put it right. Um, because we do need to put it right today. Make no mistake about that. Heading to the match with my dad. Enjoy it. George, brilliant. Have a great time, mate. I hope you both enjoy the game and uh, I hope you leave horse from singing. Remember, get behind the boys. Uh, Emmy said, your prediction now. Um, so I'm going to be an optimist today, Emmy, and I'm going to go 3 0. I'm going 3 0. <sighs> yeah, I, I might be putting myself on a hiding to nothing, bro, but I'm going 3 0. That's my prediction. Did you see Jaden Dan's goal versus Man United at Old Trafford? It was the under 21s, 
Um, it was an 18s, but yes, I did see the goal. It was lovely. Nice cheeky little back heel from Jaden, which shows the man's brimming with confidence. And I think if I'm right, it was a 3-0 victory at Old Trafford as well. They kept saying he moved his arm towards the ball. It looked like he was pulling his arm towards his body. That's what I thought as well, mate. You know, in that half... As he certainly didn't extend out his arm. His arm never left his side, which I agree. Um, Elliot being saved for a second leg masterclass. I like it, Joe. I like it, sir. Wouldn't say no to an L second leg masterclass, mate. I really wouldn't. Uh... Craig, Darwin up top is a bit frustrating. I swear Klopp never punishes players for bad performances. Sad to see Cuevian dropped out after how he's been. After all, though, Ali is the best in the world. Um, I mean, yes, on the Kelleher thing, we, we should absolutely acknowledge how good he's been. But I think, we you know, Alisson's the best in the world. With regards to Darwin, I get it. I get it. I, I can't push back against anybody who feels... That these forwards need a kick up the backside. So, yeah, I get it. No problems with anybody who's a little bit frustrated with our, our lack of... Uh, our lack of... What's the word I'm looking for? Prolificy? Pro 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not prolific. That's not the word I'm looking for. Profil, profil something. Somebody help me out. What's the word I'm looking for here? This is what happens when I try to sound clever. You know, I end up talking myself into a corner. Sabrina, yeah. everybody wants to know uh, what's the score prediction from you. Nobody's asked, but I thought I'd ask you anyway. By the way, I should point out right now that my wife is looking particularly fetching in a Grinch set of Christmas pyjamas. And it isn't Christmas, but... You wouldn't be able to see me if I came on screen, I'd disappear. Yeah, you would. You just look like a floating ginger yeah. ninja. So, Sabrina, what is the score prediction going to be today? Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Oh. Give us the score prediction. 3-1. Proficient, proficient, that was the word, Laz, 3-1. Oh, so no clean sheet, love, no clean sheet. Ali's only back and you're already spitting in his face. Hmm? 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 3-1, I'll take it. Now be gone, be gone, lady. What time are you going down to collect them at? Four. Four, okay, thank you. Only one. It definitely isn't profiteroles. Only daughter. Why? Okie dokie. Uh, let's go Reds. Love the show. Thank you so much. I'm sad because Liverpool lost to Atlanta. I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you. But we still have a chance. Proficiency. That was definitely the word. Thank you. Yeah, that was the word. Proficiency. So we do that one again. I don't mind who scores today. As long as there's some type of proficiency in front of goal. See, we did it. Don't say profiteroles because, you know, that's going to make me hungry. Tesco used to do these lovely profiteroles. I don't know if they still do them. They had salted caramel inside them. They were the part of the, you know, the Tesco finest range. They used to be delicious. Little, little balls of goodness, says the missus. Am I going to watch? I don't know what that is. I don't know what one piece is, Imran. What happened to the Discord? Absolutely nothing. The Discord's still there, but people who shouldn't be in it were removed from it because, and I can't say this clearly enough, we're not putting up with anyone's crap. So nothing happened to the Discord, just those that shouldn't be in it were booted out of it. Very simple. Uh, Discord's closed. Nobody else is getting in near it because people can't be trusted not to leak stuff. And uh, yeah, we deserve better. All the community deserve better. So we've shut shop. But don't worry about that. We'll... Focus on today's game. The Discord. Just imagine it doesn't exist. That's the easiest way to look at it. News on... Any news on Amarum? Um, yes and no. You know, we touched yesterday a little bit on the situation at Sporting Ori, his release clause. So there was a post from Pedro Sepulveda, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here a little bit. He said... Um, Sporting's president is now thinking about backing out of his agreement with Amarum that a lower release clause would be acceptable for a club outside of Portugal. They're still talking about that. The feeling from Sporting's side is that they think there'll be a bit of a fan revolt if he's let go for less than his release clause, but Liverpool are still negotiating. So that's kind of where we're at. I wouldn't worry about it. The rumours today that Nico Kovac is... Um, 
is back on the is on the uh, selection or is part of the selection I don't think is true I don't why would we get somebody that was sacked by Wolfsburg so I don't believe that uh, you're not doing thank you Thursdays then no and I'll tell you why one one week that's all it took one week we open up the discord and thank you Thursday and private and confidential and very emotional posts were being leaked straight onto Twitter you know what I mean how can we trust people if after one week those posts were getting leaked straight away? So, uh, yeah, that's why we, we, we say these things. I need to put barriers up, you know. I have to. I can't be trusting anymore. I have to make sure that I look after myself because that's scumbag behaviour and we don't need that in our fan base. We don't need that in our community. So, unfortunately, it didn't last a week. Uh, does Henderson have a brother? No, that's not him in goal if you're if you're thinking about Dean, mate, now. Prediction and opinion on the lineup. Love the content. Thank you and thank you. Um prediction. 3 0. Uh lineup, okay. Probably like you guys, I might have made a change or two. Um and love the content. Thank you so much. You're really kind. Appreciate you. Um what TV show am I currently watching? <coughs> So I, I just finished watching the right, you know, Regime. I don't know if you've seen that one. It's a new uh, show that Sky had on with Kate Winslet in it. Bit weird, but I kind of got into it as the season went on. Um, just finished it there yesterday. So yeah, that was that was the latest thing I was watching on TV. What were the posts? It was me being honest about my mental health um, and just saying, sorry if I've been off, basically. I've been struggling uh, and a few other bits and pieces. I don't remember the post verbatim, but yeah, it was something. It was just me going through a difficult time and, and just saying, if I've seen Tetchy, I apologise, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it was leaked straight onto Twitter and then via email. Just scumbag behaviour. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Craig, is Gakpo injured? No, I don't believe so. He's on the bench. Um... Bench today, by the way, is Kelleher, Gomez, Soboslai, Gakpo, Elliot, Jota, Gravenberg, Trent, and Kwanzaa. Profiligacy. That was kind of the word, yes. Prolific was what I was going for, but your word also makes sense in the way I structured that sentence, DK. Thank you, mate. Uh, Craig, you handle all just quite good. You're very funny with a good humour. Thank you, Yusko. Appreciate you, bro. I do try to have a good sense of humour, mate. I do love a good piss take, but um, look, I'm, I love what I do. I love that I get to chat with you guys. I love that we get to share our love of Liverpool Football Club. And I look forward to these days. I look forward to being here chatting with you guys. Um, Favourite movie? Probably A Bronx Tale, I think. It struck a chord with me and I've watched it so many times. Goodfellas would be right up there as well. Love both of them. But A Bronx Tale, I keep saying this, and I hope I'm right when I say it, but I believe it was Robert De Niro's first time directing. Um, and it was just a film that I think just struck a chord with me. Um, really loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Mauritius in the house. Riz, how are we? Or Riaz, excuse me if I've mispronounced there. Uh Eli said, I'm so happy Trent and Jada or Ellie. I'm not sure if I'm got Eli. Yeah, I think Eli. Maybe it's Ellie. Either way. Uh, I'm so happy Trent and Jada are back. We need a right back. Don't get me wrong. Bradley's good, but when he scores... Uh, excuse me. Bradley's good when he scores down goals. I don't know what that means. Why people say mean stuff. What do they get from it? Oh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know what they get from it. Um, some people just don't want anyone to be happy, you know, and... I don't get it either, my man or my lady. I'm not sure which one. But either way, thank you for being kind. And uh, I hope that you're having a lovely weekend. Is, where was the question? Is, uh, where was it? I'm sure I've seen something there asking me was uh, by Chechic injured. No, he isn't. He just uh, is working his way back. He played 30 minutes for the 21s the other day. What do I think of Gakpo lately? Said YK underscore LFC. Um, I think he's been good. I thought he was one of our better players, if if there was such a thing, uh, on Thursday against Atalanta. And I would have no issues if he started today either. 
Do I watch Gaelic football? And um, not really too much. I played it all the way through secondary and primary school. Um, yeah, played in every school team all the way through. But I don't watch it that much these days. I don't really have enough time. You know, having that, the old football addiction makes a. Uh, Makes, makes me have no time. I'm forever just watching uh, football, whether it's on 2am, 3am, 6am. If there's a game on somewhere, I'll try and watch it. Liam Thomas, thank you so much, Liam. Gifted 10 Anfield Agenda memberships. Absolutely incredibly generous. Thank you, Liam. Uh, Bronx Tale is an amazing film. If you get a chance, watch it with interviews with Lilo Brancado. Okay, thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. Heads up. Always good to get any new angles of the film. Yeah, absolutely. It is, it is just a film that struck a chord with me. I don't know why. I think it's that whole, you know, son-father relationship. It just uh, was a movie that I accidentally ended up watching one night, one night late at night and then just loved it ever since. Do I think Dan should start today? No, not at all. I never think Jaden Dan should start for the senior team because uh, he's not ready yet. He was brilliant when we brought him in when, when he was playing in the cup for us and I look forward to his future, absolutely. I just don't think he's um, he's there. Sorry, folks. Just give me two secs. Do do do. Ah, uh, Zarug, where are you, bro? There you are. How? I don't know why you don't have a mod, mate. I don't know why you didn't have a mod on you, but you are a mod now. Sorry about that. Uh, look, so I need some new moderators, some Mark Mod team, get your thinking caps on, uh, anybody that you would like to have uh, added as a mod, let me know, because we do need some new mods to help with the lads, and the ladies of course. Uh, big up the channel again Craig, my little one won't allow me to watch the match build up, he wants wheels on the bus, I'm a little surprised Darwin hasn't started, I mean Benjamin, he's right, it's a classic, wheels on the bus, so I agree, I agree with your little one. You can allow wheels on the bus for the build-up, but when the match comes on, the bus gets parked up. So that's the deal, young man or young lady. Why Nunes over Jota? I would just imagine that maybe the, the thought is that Jota's not ready to play 60-65 yet, perhaps. Uh, could be our super sub from the bench, though. May I ask what mods do? Of course, Travash. Uh, they basically just monitor the chat, mate, and remove any of the scummy posts or spamming or uh, stuff that isn't, you know, on the level, basically. They help me look after the chat. That's what they do. And I, I'd be lost without them, in all honesty. <coughs> so, Nomad, happy to give you an opportunity, mate, because I recognise you around for a very long time. So happy to give Nomad an opportunity on mod... Uh, who else will we need? Coach Bill. was Co Coach Bill is already a mod, is are they not? No, they're not. Sorry, Coach Bill. I did not realise that you were not a moderator, mate. I thought you were. See, these are some of the things I need pointed out to my dumb ass. <laughs> there you go, mate. Right, just a reminder, my friends, we are being brought to you today with thanks to our amazing sponsors at Manscaped. You can get yourself 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. That is 20% and free shipping using our discount code Anfield20. Scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description. Uh, 2.6k watching, 66 likes. Nope, there's 380 likes at the minute, my man, but you are spot on about the people watching. And yes, let's see if we can get to a thousand likes again before kick off. Ladies and gentlemen, please do hit that like button if you get a chance. Salah Masterclass today, said Jack O'Connell. Uh, Mucky Mitts, how are you both? Said, happy match day or good day to all the Reds around the world. Alison or Ederson? Uh, Alison for me. Craig, do I ever have a bevy while watching the game? I don't really drink, mate. Um, there's no real reason why I don't drink. It's just, it gives me bad hangovers and uh, I'm useless with a hangover. I'm one of these people that if I have a hangover, I'm only fit for the sofa or the bed, mate. So, um, 
I have the maybe if I'm on holidays, I'll have a bottle or two of beer. But what would be my tipple, you ask? Um, so if I'm having a beer, it would either be a Corona, a San Miguel, a Peroni, um, a Heineken, one of those. And uh, if I'm having a short, I'd have a vodka and cranberry. Can I be endo lover mod? So I feel like I can't make you a mod because you have a picture of me basically with what looks like an attempt at a, a cum face. Change your profile picture, Mr. Buffer set to something more reasonable. And then we'll talk. Deal? I'm Michael Smith in the disc. Oh, absolutely, Michael, you can be a mod. Gee, pleasure, dude. Absolutely. Thank you, Michael, for pointing that out. And there you go. All added, bro. Thank you for your help. Carlsberg. Do you know what, Clint? I actually don't like it at all. I don't like Carlsberg. Don't like Budweiser. Um, Budweiser, I, I have a nickname for. I call it Headache Juice. Because all I get is the hangover part without any of the enjoyment. Guinness, yeah, Guinness isn't bad, but it's a bit heavy on the old tummy, you know. And when you're like me, the last thing I need is to be lining that with Guinness. Uh, thick boy gaming. I'm good, thank you, bro. How are you? Jack Daniels, said Wayne. See, my missus would have a Jack Daniels, Wayne. She likes whiskey. I'm not a whiskey drinker at all. I think I've told you guys this story before, but the last time I drank whiskey was about... I'm not lying when I say over 20 years ago. And I fell asleep in the front garden. So, not good. Not good, bro. Mr. H and friends, how are you? I can help. Can I be a mod? Ooh, Mr. H and friends. Welcome in. What type of content do you make, bro? I see that you've got a little YouTube tick beside you. Nice. Well in. Can you be a mod? I feel like somebody who's... Given uh, YouTube as much service uh, as you have, sir, should be able to be a moderator on our channel. So let's give you a bash. I appreciate you. And I hope that uh, your YouTube life is treating you well. Mr. H and Friends. Feels like that could be my channel name as well. Uh, since my surname is Holden. So there you go. Got to win today. Or the league is gone. I agree. I agree. There is no next week if we don't win today. I'm with you. It has to be a win. Nothing else is acceptable today. Uh, Steel, Steel Zeal. Thank you for the super chat, mate. You didn't put a comment in, but I appreciate you. When is the next TOTL watch along? It won't be until probably the summer, in all honesty. We just need to get some new... Uh, Contributor for the team on TOTL. Yeah, in the front guard, mate. And do you know what made it even worse? Where I used to live when this happened, it was on a very busy walkway through to a train station. So people were walking by going to work in the morning and I was in the front garden asleep. Wasn't great. Wasn't great. Uh, Nunes shouldn't be starting. Terrible the other night and recently Salah's poor. Get Gakpo or Zada on. Well, look, I don't disagree with your sentiment, but these are the players that Klopp's chosen, so let's give him a chance. Uh, so, what have we got from Mikola? The excellent positive Anfield agenda channel. I believe that I can contribute positively to the group dynamic and help maintain a friendly and organised environment. You know what? For the very eloquently put message, absolutely, let's give you a bash, my friend. And thank you for taking the time to put in such a, a thoughtful and well thought out message. Thank you. So just to make sure the person knows who it is, uh, Mikolia, thank you for your positive sentiment. John said, Shirley Jameson. No, I don't like whiskey at all, mate. So not for me. Would you rather win the league or Europa League? Uh, the league. The league. You know, um, I want both. But if I had to have just one, definitely the leagues. Particularly this year, in Jurgen's last year. Is this profile picture better? Deal. Deal, Mr. Buffer set. 
Absolutely. There you go. So, added. A deal's a deal, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Ronaldo or Messi? For me, it's Messi. It's me. It's Messi for me, mate. I've always been a fan of uh, of Leo. I say that like I know him, don't I? Leo, me old mucker, me old me. Please don't give me a mod, I'm lazy. I like the honesty, bro. I like the honesty. Uh, Nico, yes, I do remember you, sir. I remember you from the summertime, absolutely. And look, I love the honesty about people who say they're too lazy. I'd be too lazy to moderate chat if I was doing stuff as well. Look at this, by the way. We are still 25 minutes out from kickoff and there's nearly 3,000 people already in the chat. I don't know what we do to deserve you amazing people, but thank you so much for sharing your match day with us. We really appreciate your support. I know Connor and Ben in the background do as well. We are absolutely flying at the minute as a channel because of you guys, because of the positivity you put into the chat, because of the kindness that you share with myself and other people. It really does mean a lot to us. Yes, we're not always all happy. We need to vent occasionally. But it, it is truly a pleasure that you guys give up some of your match day to be here with us. It means a lot to us and thank you for that. Craig, I'm sick of United fans saying they ruined our Prem. They, they contributed a little bit, David. But, you know, ultimately, if we win the league, it's because of us. If we don't win the league, it's because of us. You know, if they need to try and make themselves feel a little bit better about their own existence by saying they ruined our league. I think that tells us everything we need to know, mate. WFM is what I would say. Uh, thoughts on cricket? Do I follow Ireland's test match side? No, I don't. Uh, the occasional one-day World Cup I'd watch, some of the T20 stuff occasionally. I watched the women's T20 final, which I thought was really, really interesting. Now, this is going back probably a year or so. Um, but no, not really a cricket fan. I think test cricket's... It doesn't sit well with me that you can play for five days and still not get a result. Um, but no, it wouldn't be for me. Uh, and thank you, Joe, for your super chat. Uh, Daniel said, I hope Sobosla get an opportunity today and will make the most of it. He's capable way more than he is showing. Greetings from Hungary. Uh, and thank you, Daniel. And I think we all agree with you, mate. We know what Dom is capable of. He's an exceptionally good footballer. We're just perhaps aren't seeing the very best of him at the moment. And I, I don't understand why, to be fair. He looks fatigued. Um, maybe it's the first year in the Premier League he's taken its toll on him with quite how frequently the games come you know used to winter break and that in Germany so um, hopefully we do see what we know Dom is capable of uh, why do people criticise you for saying Salah is bad uh, at the moment when on Twitter I saw everybody swear at him and want him to go to Saudi Arabia I don't know mate I don't know look I love Mohamed Salah and what he's done for our football club. And he will go down in the pantheon of Liverpool greats as he deserves. But uh, all I can say to you is, when I speak about any player, it's my honest feeling at that moment in time. And if there is underlying reasons, I will say it. You know, if, if, if I didn't like a player like Adrian, I'd be open about it. But Mohamed Salah, I've just been critical of for one reason. Because we know what he's capable of. We know what Mo's level is. And we judge him as one of the best players in the world. Because that's his level. So I, I can't judge what way people talk about how I react to these things. But I give my honest opinions. If Salah scored a hat-trick today, I'd be the first one on here saying how happy I am for him. But him and Darwin, they need to pull their socks up in front of goal recently. Um, doesn't mean that they can't do it doesn't mean that there aren't other reasons maybe for their form being a little bit wayward but fingers crossed we, we sort it out today and get the win that's all we need just three points don't mind who scores the goals and uh, some positivity to take us into the week that we have ahead would be nice uh, I've been going on two three seasons different accounts reckon I could do a job as a mod. Cheers, mate. Uh, I think we've added enough for the minute, mate. But I will definitely keep you in mind, LFC Edits. And um, yes, I think I'll, I'll keep you in mind. But I appreciate the offer. Uh, would you keep Alisson or lose Kelleher, sell or keep? Can I be controversial and say sell Ali? Ooh, it's a big call that, Benjamin. Um, I'd like to be greedy and keep both. 
But I've always said I understand if Creevian felt like it was time to go and stake a claim uh, as a number one somewhere. I just hope that we would put a, a buyback option in there. Uh, we're not getting Salah on the ball enough, in my opinion. Still needs to pull his socks up. So for me, when Salah and Darwin play together, I don't think it works when Darwin's central. I like it when Mo's on the right and Darwin's on the left. I think we're more uh, impactful that way. Um, I also said this for a couple of years now. I'd have no problem putting Mo through the centre and giving him an opportunity to impact the game in that way. Um, because I think there is something to this. We've been not figured out, but we play 4-3-3. We're, we must be pretty easy to set up against. Now, setting up against us and stopping us are two different things, but... There's never usually many surprises in how Jürgen sets the team up. So maybe someday just give Mo a run through the middle. I'd like to see how he gets on because I think um, I think he's capable of it. Tokyo, Japan's in the house with Rack. How are we? And yes, we all love a bit of Endomania, mate. Endomania hopefully going to run wild all over Anfield today. Would I call back Dominic Solanke? When you say call back... Um, I think we do have a first refusal on his deal, but I don't think he's not on loan or anything. He was sold. Um, and no, I wouldn't. I think sometimes players just find a club, a moment that suits them. And, and Solanke this year is having a great year. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's got about 20 goals this year. Why is your lineup different to talk sport? This might surprise you, mate, but we have two different graphic designers. Yeah. Uh, and one of us is brilliant, and the other one is TalkSport. So I don't know the answer, mate, because I don't know what TalkSport's lineup is. I'd rather stick bleach in my eyes, or poor bleach in my eyes, than watch TalkSport or listen to anything that that uh, channel has to say. I really don't have much regard for it. And our 11's the confirmed 11, so all I can say is maybe we all see... Where players are lining up a little bit differently, but the 11 is the 11. Uh, for me, said Samu, I think as you age as an attacker, you venture into deeper positions to make yourself more efficient. Hence, Salah may need to think on those avenues. Uh, I just think as you get a little bit older, like you've said yourself, sometimes you lose half a yard of pace, so you need to reinvent yourself a little bit. And I agree. Mo through the centre, I think, could do a really good job. Uh, to be honest, I want to see Dom on the wing where he played for Leipzig. Mm. I just want to see Dom look comfortable out there. I, I, I do wonder if next season... The system, if it is changed via Amarum or whoever the new coach is, I believe it'll be Amarum, but I think maybe we may see Dom look a bit more familiar to the setup. Do I play EAFC? No, I don't. Um, I tried it before, and I think you guys enjoyed the FIFA streams, but I'm one, very, very bad, and two, it just angered me. Uh, Mikolia said honestly I really like Nunes he's our most dangerous player on the pitch whenever he's taken off we lose a lot of momentum in my opinion regardless of how he plays we should keep him on as much as possible I just don't like him through the middle I've always said this I prefer him coming off the left will I do a watch along for the preseason US games the United games at 2.30am see that's right in my wheelhouse yes 2.30 a.m. is uh, is peak Craig hours. So there's every opportunity I'll do those games, yes. Uh, Dean, how are you, Dean? Said, hope you and the family are well. I emailed Ben, contacted Anfield on Instagram. Would love to be part of the top of the league and have experience of making content. Well, I will talk with Ben, Dean, and see what he has to say. But thank you for putting your name forward. Always appreciate it, mate. And as I always say, you don't ask, you don't get. So leave it with me, bro. Are the FIFA streams on YouTube? I believe they are. But don't quote me on that. Somebody in the chat will tell you where you can find them. I think they're on the YouTube channel. Maybe they're on 
Discord actually, were they? I can't remember if they're on Discord or on YouTube, but somebody in the chat will know. Uh, if you could choose any injury-prone player's career, took away all of those injuries, who would it be? Oh, I like that question, Tom. Um, ooh. Mm, Thiago. Probably Thiago. You know, I think the world... More of Thiago in the world would have been a beautiful thing. Um I would I would have loved Oxley Chamberlain to have had no injuries as well. I think Thiago though. Sturridge is a good shout as well by Liam Thomas. I like that shout, Liam. That's a good shout. Yeah, Studge was Studge was top drawer when he was fit. That's a really good shout. It's probably the right answer actually. If you find yourself in Bristol, will cook or smoke some nice food. I was only in Bristol last summer, believe it or not. Um, I was over there signing up Mr. Benjamin. Uh, you know me, I don't mess around. I flew straight into Bristol, met up with Ben and his missus, got the contract signed and here we are. So uh, we probably will. I'll probably look at Bristol for another show at some point as well. Do you know what my missus said to me last night? Why do you put yourself through with Craig? I said, what do you mean? She goes... I know how much the live shows make you nervous and you've gone and booked in four of them and you're talking about more. Why do you do it to yourself? It's because I like push, testing myself really and I want to meet people. I want to meet the people that make up the channel and I think the live shows are the best way to do that because I get to put faces to names. I get to hear individual stories and the fun parts of the live shows make up for the absolute... Uh, Nerve-wracking weeks building up to it. It's probably the fairest way I can talk about it. Whenever I think Sturridge, I think of the PSG header and the banger against Chelsea. I think of the goal against Sevilla in the Europa League final. Because that was such a good goal from Daniel Sturridge. Um, and it deserved more than the result we got in that game. Where is Ox playing now? Uh, Besiktas. Besiktas or Fenerbahce, one or the other. I think it's Besiktas. <coughs> Excuse me. He was on the bench yesterday in their 1-1 draw. Uh, do we ever plan on doing a show in Sweden? I've nothing planned, mate. You know, I can't say we've given Sweden much thought because I don't know much about Sweden or where the best area would be or, you know, where to go about putting a show on. That's the honest answer. Do I have social anxiety, Craig? Uh, do I have... I have Asperger's and social anxiety is part of that, yes. Um, not just social anxiety, just anxiety in general. But the live shows petrify me because I'm very self-conscious and standing on a stage in front of a room of people puts me in a, a scary place. But I want to get past that scary place, which is why I keep putting myself in the position to do them. Got to challenge yourself, right? Got to challenge yourself. Uh, first time hearing somebody pronounce Besiktas like that. Besiktas? That's pretty much how I think they are pronounced, to be fair. Um, yeah, there you go. I do like to throw a little bit of creative license on these things, though. Uh, Jacob said I have Asperger's too. There you go. There you go. Part of the Aspie family, mate. Well in. Hope you're well. Right, my friends. Got to do it one more time before we get underway. But of course, today we are only able to be brought to you with thanks to our friends at Manscaped. The summer's coming in. The beach weather is upon us soon. And you've got to get your grooming game in shape. And no better way to do that and elevate your grooming area. Uh, make sure that the grass on your pitch is playable. And the only way to do that, in my opinion, is with the all-new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from our friends at Manscaped, featuring the Lawn Mower 5.0, which comes with skin-safe technology that will guard your family jewels against any grooming mishaps. It also comes with Manscaped's brightest ever LED spotlight, meaning you don't need your own floodlights. We got you covered. Also, it will make sure that... Uh, 
I live well, eat well, pay the no, money joking. It will also make sure that uh, you guys have everything that you need because not only in the performance package do you get the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, you also get the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is the nose hair trimmer and ears hair trimmer. Two liquid formulations, also known as the ball deodorant. Uh, you will get two free gifts, the shed travel bag and the boxer briefs, which are really, really comfy. And all of that is included in the performance package 5.0 Ultra. And we will give you guys 20% off and free shipping with our discount code Anfield20. That is 20% off and free shipping with our code Anfield20. And the Beard Hedger Pro Kit is also there for all of you bearded kings. Don't forget, 20% off and free shipping. Am I Irish or Scouse? I'm Norwegian, mate, Norwegian. Uh, I'm not seeing the match because I'm looking for a new house. Well in. I hope that uh, I hope you find one. I hope you find one, Rachel. I hope you find one that's uh, that fits your needs. Up oh, Manscaped said football fantasy. Absolutely. Honestly, you know, sponsors like Manscaped, Surfshark, really do make such a difference to a channel like ours. And uh, we really are appreciative of their support. They're great supporters of fan content in general. And as I said previously, 20% off and free shipping. That's a lot of water. Yeah, I try to make sure I drink at least one of those bottles a day. Wait, you're Norwegian? No, I was I was taking the piss. I'm, I'm Irish. I'm very much Irish. Sorry, I, I thought my sarcasm was clear. Uh, I'm Irish. Irish, mate. Never thought that Craig was going to be Norwegian. Nor did I. I traced my heritage back there in my own head about four minutes ago and decided that I'm Norwegian. There you go. I'm Norway's biggest export, don't you know? Right. We aren't too far away from kickoff now, my friend. So the edited FIFA streams are on YouTube. I have confirmation on that one for those who asked earlier on. Craig, you have to be joking. You look so Norwegian. I know. It, it, I'm forever being mistaken for being Norwegian. Um, but, you know, it is, it's understandable, you know. Oh, here comes Brian. Brian dropped 50 gifted Anfield Agenda memberships. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Extremely, extremely nice of you, mate. Thank you so much. Always know it's Brian from the Thin Lizzy icon. Um, appreciate you, Brian. Thank you, sir. You're an Irish scout, sir. I'll happily take that, Gabrielle. I will happily take that, my man. Our biggest league win was 9-0 against a certain Crystal Palace. I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to a repeat. Oh, oh. Brian appears and then almost as if Magic Barry appears. And Barry is also gifted 50 Anfield Agenda memberships. Incredible gentlemen. Thank you to both of you, Barry, Taylor and Brian. Uh, that is 100 gifted memberships in the last moments. Uh, Finley. Thank you for your post, Finley. He said, surely a big win today, Craig. Oh, got a game tonight in Edinburgh. So a confidence boost will do just fine. When are you wanting these backstage tickets? Uh, whenever we get to the big areas. I was nearly going to give you a ring, Finley, because we were we were trying to get the musicians sorted for some of our live shows. And thankfully, we've got them booked in for Dublin and Belfast. But yeah, I was thinking, who in our Discord group or who in our group is also guitarists and singers? So uh, yeah, wish you all the best, mate, with your game tonight as well. Uh, da, 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 da. come on the Reds crazy lads fair play said Ryan O'Connell absolutely Ryan incredibly generous of Barry and Brian really would be uh, would be lost without them their contributions to our community are truly just a beautiful thing right the teams are in the tunnel at least the Reds are in the tunnel and I tell you what it does not half look good to see Alison Becker standing there all kitted out and ready to come out and play Bayer Leverkusen have named the road leading to their stadium the Jabi Alonso Alley. So there we go. Thank you for that update, Mark. So, my friends, we only need 114 likes to get to 1,000 before we kick off. If you haven't hit the like button, please do. 
And also, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We will be lost without the support of you amazing people. So if you haven't helped us out by hitting that subscribe button or dropping a like, please do. Four minutes to get the extra 100 and something likes up. Is it okay to be nervous? Because I know I am. Of course. Of course, it's healthy to be nervous. And uh, with the way we've played recently, I don't know how we could be anything but. Uh, is it on Sky Main Event? I'm watching it on Sky Sports Premier League. I'm watching it on Sky. I think the golf's on Main Event. Yeah. The, oh, no. It's just about to come on to Main Event, actually. Uh, but I'm watching it on Sky Sports Premier League. Where I've seen a post from Barry come in somewhere there. Where was it? Where was Barry's post? Oh, well played, Brian, is what he said. And Brian said the same. Yes, we'd be absolutely lost without you two gents. Incredibly generous of you both. Right, the teams are in the tunnel and walking towards the hollow turf of Anfield. Both teams coming out. Liverpool going to be wearing our home strip of red, of course. Crystal Palace in their white shirt with blue shorts. Anfield looks magnificent. Ready to go. Stargirl said a fan said he'd be really annoyed if Zidane became our manager. Why? He's won a lot of trophies. I hope it's Amram, but if Zidane walked through the door, I wouldn't complain. He is a winner. Uh, I don't like the idea of Zidane personally. I'm not going to argue about what he's won because what he won with, with Real Madrid was phenomenal as a, a coach. One, he doesn't speak English, though, I believe. And two, I just don't think he'd be a good fit for us. So I would be in the agreement of not wanting them to be the coach, but do respect what he's won. Uh, with that comment around Alonso, what's your thoughts on when do you become a legend for a club? Can you do it in the short term? I think if you deliver a first ever league title, which is what Alonso is going to do today with Leverkusen, if they win today, they are champions. I think you deserve instant recognition for that, uh, Benjamin. And I couldn't believe it when Ben said to me that Leverkusen had never won a Bundesliga. Genuinely astonished me. So to see him come in and do it when he took over the job there in the relegation area or just above it, I think, yes, instantly that makes you uh, a star. It makes you a hero. Uh, let's win and turn the result around on Thursday and finish strong. So that I'm done. Yes, fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Prediction for the Arsenal game. Um, Three-one win to Arsenal, unfortunately. But I hope I'm wrong. South Carolina's in the house. Wes, how are you, mate? Welcome in. Right. The boys are just giving a few high fives and hugs before we get on their way. Great to have Ali back between the sticks. And one more time before we get on the way, just a confirmation of your Liverpool 11 4 today. It is Alison Becker back in goal. Connor Bradley right back. Andy Robertson left back. Ibrahim Akanade and Virgil van Dijk are your two centre backs today. With Toro Endo is your holding midfielder with Alexis McAllister and Curtis Jones ahead of him. Up top, Mohamed Salah on the right. Darwin Nunes to the centre and Lucho on the left. Your Liverpool bench is as follows. Joe Gomez, Dominic Soboslai, Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott, Diogo Jota, Ryan Gravenberg, Quivin Kelleher, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Jarrell Kwanzaa. The Crystal Palace 11 is Henderson, Munoz, Anderson, Lerma, Mitchell, Hughes, Wharton, Klein, Elise, Mateta and Eze. That is the Palace 11. Uh, I trust everything to Mac and Endo's combination. Come on, the Reds. Thank you for that. Super chat as well, my friend. Gen G. Come on, you Reds at YK underscore LFC1. Thank you for your membership chat, mate. Right. Hope for a win. <coughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, be nice to score early, wouldn't it? Let's hope we get a fast start because... It'd be nice for us to set the tone today and, and let it be known very quickly that we're here and we mean business and we're getting this damn result. So again, one last shout out to our sponsors. Don't forget, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using our discount code ANFIELD20. That is 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. 
Uh, banner on the cop, obviously in remembrance of the 97, as this is the closest game to the anniversary of the Hillsborough disaster. Of course, our thoughts, love and best wishes are with everybody affected by that. Um, it is always right that we remember these things. And um, there's some beautiful banners and um, reminders of what happened on that fateful day. So our thoughts and love are always with the 97. And there's King Kenny in the stands as well. Right, my friends, the referee has blown his whistle to indicate the start of this game. Sit back, relax, and I will do my best to keep you up to date with what's happening in the game. Uh, loving the hard work, Craig. Thank you, Harry. Really appreciate your support, mate. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Right, Verge has the boys in a huddle, and then we're going to get on their way. Let me get the clock ready to go. Sweet. Uh, again, 20% off free shipping, manscaped.com. Use our discount code Anfield20. And again, thank you to Manscaped for the support. Right, so Liverpool are going to be attacking the Annie Road end in the first half, as we like to do. Palace will be kicking us off. Palace in their white shirts with blue shorts. Obviously, the red's in the red, surprisingly enough. Players just taking a knee. Diaz just reminded them, let's go. Let's get straight into it. And we're off, my friends. Palace don't do the decent thing and instead immediately play the ball forward left-hand side. But the press forces them back inside their own half. Let's go. Let's go. Klein. Palace already in possession. Endo tries to get a press on. Palace moving out left-hand side. Cross in early doors. There's Alisson to palm it away. We do give up a lot of crosses early in games, don't we? And this one's no different. Mo's back there doing some defensive work. Well done, Mo. Bradley plays a miss hit pass though into midfield that gives Palace back possession. Palace edge of the box strike weak, but straight at Alisson. Eze with the opportunity there, and uh, again, early doors. We've. Uh, created or we've conceded a chance or two but thankfully this time nothing comes of it Canade back to Allison. I think he's shown us already he's ready and he's sharp Ali straight back in McAllister to Canade Canade goes out to Bradley Bradley up the line to Mo has been wrestled to the ground referee puts the whistle to his lips gives Liverpool a free kick Lads, they're not going to let you take it that quickly. 10 yards ahead of the foul. I like it though. I like that Salah was looking to get on with it quickly. But ref brings it back. It was about 10 yards ahead of where the foul took place. Right, I'm going to sync up for you guys in a second. When it gets to two minutes, I'll sync up. Sorry, I forgot to sync uh, earlier on. I got distracted by the game. Bradley, right-hand side. Tries the ball forward. Takes a ricochet and Anderson heads it away. Will Hughes now. Do you remember we were linked to Will Hughes back in the day? Canade up against Mateta. Canade plays the ball forward, but back to Palace. Right, we are coming up now to two minutes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, ten. Ball into the left channel to Robbo. Ball goes out though, but it will be a Liverpool throw ins taken quickly. Jones, Endo, back to Jones. Jones brings it under control. Manages to find McAllister. Man on, man on. McAllister into the right channel to Bradley. Mr. H and friends, thank you. Saying like the video, guys. Appreciate you, mate. Thank you for your support. And do go over and give our friend at Mr. H and Friends a, a sub as well, guys. 
a fellow creator. Always great to see uh, fellow creators drop by to say hello. Right, three minutes on the clock. Palace throw in down by their corner flag inside their own half. Mateta flicks it on. Endo, Mateta, bit of head tennis going on here. Endo again, cleared by Crystal Palace. Up steps Virgil van Dijk to head it back forward. Maka plays it out off Will Hughes. Liverpool throw in on the far side. Canade. Back to Verge. Robbo. Jones. Look where Bradley is here. If you could look ahead, you could see Bradley is in between their midfield and our attackers. That's how far forward he is right now. Liverpool looking to play around this Crystal Palace press. They're pressing as a group of four or five. Forces us to go long. Robbo loses. Look how high again our fullbacks are. Robbo and Bradley's dropped a little bit deeper now. But look where Robbo is again. Advance of the halfway line. Salah, back to Canada. Liverpool just keeping possession here, trying to tempt that Palace press in and then play around them. Good ball, good ball. I could see the space Salah was in and he managed to find him. Little 1-2. Challenge comes in on Salah. He's dispossessed. Palace now look to counter-attack with Eze. Yes, with Toro. What a challenge. With Toro, beautifully timed challenge in midfield. Wins the ball back. Endo. Jones. Diaz. Again, ball gets stuck in his feet. And he loses possession. Palace now. Playing through the lines. Will Hughes, centre of the park. Eze. Back to Anderson. Press. Klein's in possession. He goes back to the keeper. Jones presses. Keep going. Close down. Come on. Close. Endo. Robbo mops it up back to Allison. Decent. The bench is getting stronger by the week, said Malcolm uh, Billington. Indeed, it is, mate. The bench looking rather tasty today. Jones to Ibrahima Kanade. Andy Robertson. Come on, boys. Again, Palace's shape is... Uh, you can see it there, look. Just two banks of four sitting in front. Making it very difficult again for us to break down. And they're not committing many forwards. They're only committing three or four to these counter-attacks because of the pace they have. Eze plays it into the left channel out to Mateta. Connor Bradley comes across. Mateta keeps possession just about. No verge, don't go back. There you go. Man on. Again, look, Palace just forcing us into quick, hurried clearances, and we aren't clearing our lines. Mitchell, ball inside the Eze. Challenge comes in on him. McAllister wins it. Bradley, Canade. Salah, he's dispossessed. Gets back to try and challenge, and there's a ball into the box that's straight to Allison. Here we go. Robbo now. Cuts inside, past a couple of those Palace challenges. Good ball, good ball. Now, back in, there you go. Darwin, strike! Unlucky, unlucky. Good play. Good play. Someone says, bro, Nunes. I don't know what you mean, Simon. They did everything right there. It was just a difficult angle. That was a very good attack. Andy Robertson into Lucho Diaz. Diaz back to Robbo. Robbo into the left channel to Darwin. Angle wasn't great, but at least he hits the target. And we give Palace something to think about. That was a good move from Liverpool. Simple football is best, yes. Uh, membership chat, nicely done by Robbo. And thank you for your comments, my friends. 
Remember, any super chats or anything like that will be going up on the screen. We have the uh, new backend technology now where we can bring super chats and comments up on screen just to say thank you for your support. Andy Robertson now, left side to Jones. Salah, as you can see on the far side, Salah's drifted into the half space and Bradley's providing the width out there on the far right hand side. Over hit ball looking for Jones. It is interesting to see these little variations in movement. Salah coming inside into that half space and then Bradley on the right. It's happened on the left hand side occasionally as well with Diaz. Uh, just confirmation, Fulham have gone 1-0 up away to West Ham. Can't be given a medal for getting it on target. Okay, that's not an attitude I want, mate. Do you know what? So I have a little time out there. Nobody's giving them a medal for putting it on target, but we're praising them for good build-up play and good chance creation. You know, we're not going to score every opportunity, and that was a difficult one. So uh, I'm sure he doesn't want the medal. We're just all correctly praising the build-up play. Nine minutes on the clock. Still scoreless. Which at least means we haven't conceded early. Stats are up there on the screen as well. If you guys want to check in with them. With thanks to our friends at Lineup Builder. Do remember to check out lineupbuilder.co.uk. Where you can create your own Anfield agenda. Predicted 11. And thank you to our friends at Lineup Builder. Robbo. Jones. Back to Endo. Endo tries to diag into Salah. It's headed forward. Ball breaks to Darwin. Darwin goes out right to Connor Bradley. Back to Alexis. Mm. You can see what he was trying to do, but players weren't on the same wavelength. He tried a little slide rule passing behind the Palace defence, but the players weren't on the same wavelength, and it goes behind for a goal kick. Uh Livia Regina Miranda, welcome in. Good afternoon to you as well, my friend. Right, Henderson goes long. That's a very bright goalkeeper kit there that Dean Henderson's wearing, isn't it? Robbo, forward. Salah giving chase. Second ball. Out left, out left. Go. Mm -hmm. Still in possession. Darwin. Sorry about that weird noise, by the way. It was just uh, a good bit of defensive work there from Anderson. Broke down our attack. But Lucho still in possession. McAllister. Endo. Back out left side to Robbo. Again, that's a loose ball. And players just not on the same wavelength. Andy Robertson lets out a scream in frustration. And the ball goes out for a Crystal Palace throw-in. Any snidey comments about players like our friend there a moment ago saying get Darwin out of the squad for missing that chance, you're just going to be kicked out. So don't waste your time and my time by writing them. It'll just be deleted and you'll be banned. Uh, I can't tell as your clock behind a tiny bit. Not for me. It's synced up for me magnificently, but uh, it is probably a little bit delayed from the game, yes. Russell said the forwards aren't connecting at all, been the same all season. It's like 11, 12 minutes into the game, lads. Let's uh, let's stay positive. Oh, again, misplaced there from Curtis Jones this time. It is difficult as well to connect when they're playing with um, everybody behind the ball, pretty much. Alison Thoreau, oh, Jesus. Not great, lads. I mean, safety first, I get it. But um, not great. I'm on 13 minutes. Mm, I don't think you are. Palace on the attack left side. It's 
Still Palace wide left. Ball in. Oh, fuck's sake. It's 1 0 Palace, lads. Just stop it. It's 1 0 Palace, and it's too easy. Our defence is it. They should be ashamed of themselves. Why is Klopp smiling? Why are you smiling? It's not funny. What is funny is how bad our defence is. 1 0 down already. And it was like a passing exercise for Crystal Palace. It was like a training ground goal. Look at... We're just opened up so easily. Just little one-touch passes. Into the left channel. Down the line. Reverse. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. Nobody is within five yards of Eze. Look at the space. Five yards. Look at, look at that. That's criminal. That, look at look at this! Look at him! Five yards, not a single Liverpool player near him. As our defence needs to be sacked, honestly. It's it's a joke. It is an absolute joke. That wasn't a counter-attack where we were caught out or anything. They meticulously played passes through our defence while they all stood around looking at each other. Van Dijk, Canada should hang their heads in shame. That is a disgrace. So it was so easy for Crystal Palace as well. Just pass, 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 pass and nobody pressurising the strike. Just so easy for Crystal Palace. So easy. Offside there against Palace. Honest to God. I don't understand what our centre-backs are at. Honestly. How can Eze be five yards? Five yards! Without anybody near him. In an 18-yard box. That's it. Honestly. Look, I have to say something because I need to get this off my chest. Seeing Jurgen Klopp smirking. I know he's not smirking. I'm not saying he's happy. But seeing him standing on the sidelines smirking while those clowns in defence again get opened up like a tin of cheap tuna. It, it is infuriating to see our manager standing there smirking. When his defence has once again been embarrassed. Uh, Bumba Dog said, tired of it, playing like a group, or playing for the next club after Klopp. They've given up on him and the badge, beaten to every ball, said Bumba Dog. 21st time, yes, brick top, 21st time. That What he means by that is that's the 21st time this season we've gone 1-0 down. And Mated is through here now. Robbo saved us off the line with a clearance. It was almost 2-0. Thank God Andy Robertson got back and cleared that off the line. Virgil and Canade should be fired. This is disgraceful. What is Virgil van Dijk doing back there? Captain, my arse. He is no more a captain than I am. That is honestly a disgrace. Virgil and Canade need to be binned off because this is rubbish. I know people say it's overreacting, but look at that again. He literally trips over his own damn feet. Smiling is to release tension. I prefer smashing stuff myself, mate. Well done, Andy Robertson, chase him back. I'm honestly, it's mental. How can we be so poor at the back? Van Dijk falling over 
as Mateta goes past them. Verge slipped. Can't blame him for that. Come on now. Of course I can blame him for it. If you're not in the correct body shape. I don't, I know he slipped, but it's still not good enough. I mean, like, so what? He slipped. I don't care. Nobody slipped when Eze had five yards in her 18-yard box. Nobody slipped then. Stop making excuses for terrible defending. Come on, boys. Free kick to Palace. Jones having a go as well now. I think at Diaz. Oh, thank God for Andy Robertson. Seeing the goal line clearance there now. Well done, Andy Robertson. Look, whatever you say, if you want to say Verd slip, I get you. But we are conceding way too many soft goals. And he's the captain and the leader of that defence. And already, in another game, for the 21st time this season, we've gone 1-0 down. I don't care if he slipped for the chance for Mateta. He didn't slip when we've been carved open. It's not good enough. Offside again against Palace this time. 19 minutes, almost 20 on the clock. Uh, Wayne, thank you for the super chat, mate. Alison, the endo. Somebody said, Craig, I'll never forgive you for giving Sobosly a two in the player rating. Don't care. Don't need your forgiveness, mate. You're irrelevant to me. You don't need to... Uh, I don't need your forgiveness to give anybody a score of two. He's been shy for weeks, and uh, I don't really care what you think. It's hard watching how bad VVD is, said Tony Miller. What on earth happened? This isn't the same team, said Cole Smith. These centre-backs, man, they just aren't it. They just aren't. It's, I take no pleasure in saying time for VVD to, to be stripped of the captain's armband, but it's either that or he gets dropped. Because I know people like saying the idea of Verge as captain, but he said it himself. That when he was captain of the Netherlands and Liverpool, it added pressure to him. And I feel like just release that pressure from him because he is not a leader. He is not a captain. He can't even marshal that defensive line properly. Him and Canada have been carved open yet again, and it is criminal. Darwin, unlucky. Corner to Liverpool, left-hand side. Robbo to take it. Some people saying, drop VVD, what y'all smoking? I would reverse the question and ask you what you're looking at, you know? Do you think any of us take any pleasure in saying that Van Dyke and Kanata aren't good enough? But we can't just keep saying Van Dyke's amazing while we're conceding first for the 21st game this season. We need to be realistic about it. They're not performing. They're not doing their job. 
surely you understand why people you don't get to play just because your name's vvd or just because your name canada or just because your name salah or nunes you earn the right to play and how anybody can look at 21 goals conceded first this season and think that that isn't a problem i don't know what to say you don't live off your reputation alone you've you've got to earn the right every week to keep playing and keep wearing the shirt and again we've just come apart at the seams defensively you're an amazing guy craig loving the streams do you think liverpool will come back against atlanta you can never say never but never say never but um go on lucho unlucky unlucky lucho goes to the ground looking at a foul i didn't think that was a penalty if i'm being honest i think it was just both of them coming together good run by lucho but yeah it was not a penalty for me lads not that not a penalty How are people honestly saying that's a pen? It isn't a penalty, lads. It's just Lucho went to ground. There's never a penalty. Liverpool throw in. Excuse me. 25 minutes almost on the clock. Almost like Groundhog Day. We trail by a goal to nil. And plenty of time for the boys to turn it round. Go on. Unlucky. Darwin won the ball back. Tried to play it over to Salah. Just a little bit over hit. Out comes the Palace keeper. And Nathan Carrison. Or Carlson. Thank you. No, it's Carrison. Thank you, Nathan, for your super chat, mate. Have we ran out of steam? I hope not, Alex, because there's a great bench there. You know, if we look at the options, um, there's a great bench there. What? So Ian Doyle said, this is an effing joke, Jürgen. Comes the show from one fan near the press box. We're probably only two more home games under Klopp to come. Liverpool need to start enjoying themselves again. So, um, yeah, not very happy with the performance inside the stadium. And I, uh, I don't blame them. It is a joke. They're right. But I know some people feel like certain players are with escape criticism and Van Dyke to some people is one of them but I can't I can't believe what we're seeing defensively again but there is time to turn this round and I hope we will but we've not done it the easy way Robbo ball in behind unlucky good work Andy Robertson corner to Liverpool did you see Dan's wonder goal for yes it was it was a really well taken goal mate Really well taken goal from Jaden Dans. Looks like he's brimming with confidence. Right, Andy Robertson to take the corner. Gives the signal. Ball in. Oh, the crossbar! Ah! Oh, not sure who got the touch, but it rattled the crossbar and came back into play. Who's that down? McAllister's down. He's getting back to his feet. Jones ball in. Darwin. Jones again. Verge. To Jones. Clear by Palace. Crossbar denied us there. I still haven't seen who actually got the strike away. But unlucky off the bar. Folks, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. Thank you for being with us today. Hopefully we turn this around, but oh, just feels awfully familiar, unfortunately. 27 minutes on the clock, almost 28. Bradley, McAllister, 
Headed away by Klein. One back again by Bradley. Jones. Endo. It was Endo, was it? Unlucky. Unlucky. Off the bar. Ugh. I feel like the word work on that end of the pitch has really, uh, really not been a friend to us lately. Canade. Ball into Lucho. Jones. Robertson. Cross in. Lucho. Oh. Somehow Dean Henderson claws that away. That's painful. Painful. But great from Lucho. Great build up play. Ball to Robbo. Cross in. I mean Lucho could not have done any more. He couldn't have done any more at that. Oh, it's a good save from Dean Henderson. Unlucky, Lucho. Unlucky. Corner. Ball in. Canade heads it over from seven yards. Better. Yeah, absolutely. Agree with everyone in the chat saying much better, but... I mean, Lucho could not have done any more with that. I mean, he did really well to get that on target. Ugh. I think the strike from Endo took a nick on the way through as well. I'm looking at that shot now to hit the bar. Oh, so unlucky. So unlucky. Keep going, boys. Come on. Much better in the last few minutes. Keep going. Nunes fell right-hand side. Free kick to Liverpool. Certainly been a lot better over the last few minutes. Oh, Liverpool caught in possession in the centre of the park again. Uh, Elise now. Ball across Mateta. Oh, Alice makes the save. Offside flag was up. Offside flag was up. Endo got caught in possession further up the pitch. Palace counter attack. They moved it into the left channel. But yeah, Mateta was a good two, three yards offside there. Diaz, Jones, McAllister, free kick, right on the edge of the penalty area, right on the edge, dead centre, half a yard outside the edge of the 18 yard box, good opportunity here, might be a little bit too close, but Good opportunity. Hopefully we can figure something from this. Dead central. Just outside the 18 yard box. Craig why can't we start with this kind of urgency. Honestly I don't know. But <coughs> at least we've woken up. Which is uh, good news. Still waiting for this free kick to be taken, by the way. Palace's wall is halfway between the penalty spot and the six-yard box. Salah and McAllister standing over it. They wasted it again. I, I This does my bicky in. This stupidity about trying to move the ball and giving them a chance to run and block it is absolutely lunacy. Hit the damn thing. 
they touch it and give Palace players three yards to run at them instead of just hitting it? Oh, honest to God, I don't understand the stupidity. Just hit the thing. Why would you willingly give them a chance to charge down your shot? For the love of God. McAllister. Good ball into the right channel to Mo. Oh, Salah strike saved by Henderson. Better, at least he got a strike away. Good ball from McAllister. Salah does well, cuts in field, gets a strike away, but it's an easy enough stop for Dean Henderson. Maka, man on. No, look again, nobody giving him a shoe. Elise to Mateta. Liverpool crowd him out and win the ball back. Robertson, down the line looking for Darwin. Out comes Dean Henderson, puts it out for a throw-in. Diaz, Robbo. Challenge comes in on him. Liverpool throw-in down near the corner flag on the near side. Another Liverpool throw in. Come on, boys. Can I ask you a question, folks? What's the atmosphere like? Are the crowd getting behind the lads? I obviously can't hear it. Anfield is waking up. Oh, ten minutes left in the first half. It's quiet. Palace now again, winning the ball back and countering us. The fence opens up like the Red Sea. Only a heavy touch from Elise allows Allison to come out and get it. My God. Look at it again. Don't talk to me about our centre-backs. Don't talk to me about Canada and Van Dijk. Don't be telling me how great they are. Literally, they just dance through the middle again. And only for a heavy touch from Elise that allowed Allison to come out, we were carved open again. And that was right through the heart of our defence. It's not good enough. Our centre-backs just are not good enough. And again, giving the ball away in midfield as well. It's just... It's just not great, lads. Robbo. Jones. Back to Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Tries to go out right-hand side, but it's headed away with a Palace defender. Endo. Jones. Andy Robertson. I kind of go back to that comment from Ian Doyle. And I think there's a lot of sense in the last line of what Ian Doyle wrote there. Liverpool need to start enjoying themselves again. I like the way Ian Doyle's wrote that, or written that. Because it feels right. It feels like we do. We need to release that pent-up frustration and start playing and enjoying the way that we play again. I don't know what that was from Darwin. Oh, my God. Our midfield's not helping our defence. I agree, Pear. I agree. Giving the ball away in midfield is allowing them to counter. I don't disagree with you on that, mate. Um, we've been caught in possession in midfield on a few occasions. So I, I do agree on that. Midfield certainly isn't helping the defence.
But like this is a team at the other end of the Premier League. This is a team just above the relegation zone. And they've created enough chances to win this game already. So yeah, look, it's a collective failure. But I would like a bit more from my centre-backs. But you are right about midfield as well. Can't argue about that. We have to be better in midfield. So disappointing so far, lads, isn't it? But still got time. Offside against Palace again. Jeez, and it was me thinking, could we help out the old goal difference today? Getting ahead of myself there. Getting ahead of myself. Bradley tries to go down the right. Ball in. Not too far away from Salah. It's cleared by Palace. Throw into Liverpool on the far side. What's this comment? So Ian Doyle has posted to say, just a reminder, in the last six months, the only teams Palace have beaten is Burnley, Brentford and Sheffield United. And Liverpool are making them look like Brazil 1970. Total lack of conviction in defending and belief in anything so far. See? I know you all like to have a go at me when I criticise the defence, but I do know what I'm talking about. And even the journals are backing up with, there is a lack of conviction in our defending. Because it's passive. It's not aggressive enough. Apart from Robbo, no energy in the back line, said Harvey Lewis. Thank you for your super chat, Harvey. Very kind of you. The only team who's enjoyed this is Palace, said Tom J. It's just passive is right for me and Doyle. We need to be up in their faces, aggressive. No, he is right, Anita. He's absolutely right. Another wasted opportunity. Does anybody else feel like they're stuck in a dream? Where is the Liverpool team gone from before that United FA Cup game? Palace winning every challenge, yep. Hughes, ball inside, Mateta. Another strike from Palace on target that Allison has to get down and save. It's just so easy for them. So easy for them to get shots away. Every goddamn time somebody in their team has space. Another ball in over the top. Darwin. Oh. Oh. It's like Keystone Cops. Honestly, it's like they're trying their best to make it as awkward as possible to score. And by overworking everything. Father of God. This is breaking my soul, lads. Honestly, three minutes to go in the first half. I don't know what I ha what I'm looking at. Uh, at the very least, Klopp should take the armband off Virgil's arm at half time. Said Brian. I don't even, Brian, mate, I don't even know what to say at the minute. I'm just, I'm in shell shock. 
Where, where's the, remember we were promised a response from the manager. Remember that? Remember all week we were told, we'll give you a response, we'll get a response. Is the response to do the exact same stuff over and over again? Concede first and make the opposition look like prime Barcelona? Uh, Matty Dahl said, we're literally throwing our season away. Yep, and there's, it's just disintegrating in front of our eyes, mate, which makes it so difficult to sit here and stay calm. Look at this shit. Canade again, giving the ball away. Elise. It's I literally cannot wait for that halftime whistle. Cause something needs to be done here at half times. Klopp ne- Oh another chance. Another chance there. Mateta thinks he was pushed, but let's have a look at this. So Canade's on Mateta, allows him to waltz in between Verge and look, gets there ahead of Verge again. Passive. Again, passive. But Verge is great, though. Do you know what I mean? We're not allowed to criticise him, even though, here, look again. All he can do is push Mateta. That's his defender. Just push him. Rather than actually try to get there ahead of him. Canada allowing his man to peel off him. It's just amateur hour, lads. Go on, Diaz. Well done, Lucho. Well done. Nice little Meg. McAllister. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Play the ball behind Bradley and it goes out for a throw in. Two minutes added on at the end of the first half. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, folks, please do. Let's see if we can get to 255,000 subscribers. Oh, it's so hard to be positive at the minute. We're just seeing dross. Craig, this is tragic. I know, mate. It's heartbreaking stuff. It's just sitting here. Looking at it, hoping something triggers them, some spark, something brings them into life, but it's it's, it's so disappointing, isn't it? Uh, Jones isn't good enough, get Elliot in, said John Henrik Christiansen. Thank you, sir, for your super chat. Um, Palace well deserved lead, absolutely. No argument with that. Palace deserve their lead. This is going to be, it's going to be a moment in that dressing room at half time where somebody, be it Klopp, Van Dijk, Salah, somebody has to stand up in that dressing room and tell a few home truths at half time. Somebody needs to stand up, it's half time now, and be a leader and demand a reaction. This is, as Ian Doyle said, the third to last game at Anfield on the Jurgen Klopp. Somebody needs to stand up in that dressing room and rally those damn troops. Because that is unacceptable. That is cowardice. That is pathetic. That does not deserve to win a league title. We have 45 minutes. Do they have the hunger, the desire, the balls to go out there and change it around? I think they do. But it's going to require a massive, massive turnaround in the second 45 minutes. 
We're capable of it. But somebody has to stand up and lead. They're playing like a random 11 thrown together, said James Lawler. The defences are kryptonite, was another comment in there. I'm, I'm truly astounded, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you can go out and be that passive after what we've been through in the last week. To capitulate a home to Atalanta, to throw away two lots of leads at Old Trafford, and that's the reaction? That's the response? That's what it means to them? I'm sorry. We need bo- We need more. We need better. Somebody has to be responsible for grabbing this game and taking it to the opposition. I want to see Gakpo after that performance. Uh, Benjamin said, I don't think we have the team like 2019. The front three are utter dross, Craig, said Benjamin. Look, real talk. I find it hard to, and I don't want to push back against anybody who's talking about how poor we've been. We are. You're right. I don't want to be criticising our players, but I don't know what else we can do at this moment. There is no praise to give around after that 45. There is no positivity to be had after that 45. And at what point does belief become delusion? You know, I get it. People want us to be positive, but we need something. We need something to feed off. We need something to spark it. Whether it's giving the ball away in midfield, allowing us to be countered, whether it's passive defending from our centre-backs, whether it's an inability to put away chances from our forwards. You all have valid points. I'm not here to shout you down, but what I'm, I'm saying is, if they can't do it in this second half, if they can't muster it now, what hope have we got? Honestly, they have 45 minutes to save their season. And I don't say this lightly, but with the manager leaving, if this is how the season ends, because they gave it to Biggin in the media, they spoke about leaving it all out there for the manager. They spoke about wanting to let the manager leave with a celebration and some more silverware. They're not playing like it. I'm trying to be as emotionally calm as I can, but it's hurting me to see that because Klopp deserves better. Those fans in that stadium deserve better. And if they're not willing to put in the hard yards, if they're not willing to go through the pain barrier, they don't deserve to wear the shirt. VVD Endo Nunes as a spine is spineless, said John Williams. I'm going to get through as many of your comments as I can. Uh, Bradley isn't doing it for me in this game. I agree. I agree, Owen. He's, he's not having a great game. I agree with you. Another poor performance and lackluster, far too slow and loose in midfield. A couple of super chats to get through. Maddie said, Klopp smiling makes my blood boil. Same. I I understand that people say it's an emotional reaction. Smash something then. Don't smile. Smile. (sighs) Yeah, I get you. It winds me up as well. We have 45 minutes to save the season, said Daniel Nelson. Uh, Or it's over. Yes. I can't disagree. Nessie. They might as well put the kids in the remaining games if these senior players aren't in the mood to play now. Please take VVD off the armband. (coughs) I'm I'm genuinely shocked. I'm astonished. I'm astonished at what I'm seeing. I'm looking at their goal now. So Verge has an eye on Mateta. Mateta then walks behind, Verge steps back. Palace play through the line into the left channel. Now look, Eze, free, nobody, nobody near him. 
Ball's played back. Look at this. Canade's ball watching. And Eze has the freedom of the 18-yard box. That is criminal. Criminal to allow that to happen. To have that space. Uh, Aaron Kenny, thank you for your super sticker. I feel deflated at this point, mate, said Jack. I don't think you're on your own, bro. Benjamin Alfred said, Craig, they're giving it all. It's just utter dross, mate. Loose as heck. I don't think they are giving it all, Benjamin. I, I, I don't think so at all, mate. Bar maybe Andy Robertson. I don't think any... Robertson and Diaz, maybe, are leaving it all out there on the pitch. But the rest of them, nah, I'm not having that they're giving it all, mate. They're not. Last five, we're playing like the season's already done, said Gary Weiss. Uh, Eric Klassen said, we've been worse after Mo came back. No scapegoat. Thank you for your super chat, Eric. Uh, Bricktop said, Craig, I love Klopp, but I am ready for a change now. It, it's... Honestly, I just feel helpless here at the minute. I'm sure you guys are the same, but... You're just looking at it and going... How, is, how are these the same players that got themselves to this position? We know what's in them. We know what they're capable of. Where did this lack of confidence come from? It's crept into the squad and... I don't know. It's like somebody's cursed us or something. It's mad. Like this lack of confidence just appeared from nowhere. Jota on now. He's the man to turn this around, said Daniel Nelson. Now, well, let's have a look at the bench anyway. The options for Jurgen. Gomez, Soboslai, Gakpo, Elia, Jota, Gravenberg, Trent and Kwanzaa. They're the outfield options. Um, I always see Diaz giving 110%, said Jeannie Gary. Do you think you should put Jota on, said Hugo? Yes, sir, I do. Um... Look, I totally understand that maybe he wasn't able to play the <coughs> excuse me, the first 60, let's say, because he's coming back from injury. But yeah, I hope that... And also, I look at it like this. So what if they get injured? And I mean that sincerely. If, if now isn't the time to roll the dice and throw Trent on, what are we waiting for? Because if we don't turn this around, there is no more season. It's done. So time to roll the dice. Time to give them a chance. So yes, sh shatter that glass. It is an emergency. Put players on. What changes would you make at half time? Well, I agree with everybody saying Diogo Jota on. I'd get Curtis Jones off and put Harvey Elliott on. I don't think Jones has been at it today. Um, I'd probably take off one of Darwin or Salah and put on Cody Gakpo. Actually, I'd take Darwin and Salah off. And I put Gakpo and Jota on. Um, probably take Bradley off and put Trent on as well. I'd probably make three or four changes at this point. There's a couple of super chats I need to get through. Has our style been found out? Why can't we change? Said Harry Klein. Uh, it feels like... It feels like someone's just flicked the switch, mate. And we've just forgotten everything that we've put together um, over the course of the season forgot what got us to this position Mo was playing like he settled for Saudi can't lie said Ironhead 460 uh, Coca Vogel said we're not as determined as Arsenal lack of desire If it, lack, I wouldn't necessarily say the desire as much but I get where you're coming from I would say it's a lack of will is what I would say Football or any competitive sport is about making the opposition fold to your will. About enforcing your belief that you are better, you are going to win your battles. And that's what Klopp's going to have to say to these lads. There's 10 battles out there on that outfield pitch. Win every damn one of them in the second half. No giving the ball away. No, no lack of self-belief. Go out there and play like you belong to be there. Play like this means something to you. Win your battles and cover for your teammates. Run, run, run until you have not got a goddamn ounce left or take your shirt off and hang it up on that fucking pin. Because if you're not willing to go through the pain barrier for your teammates in this moment, then you're a fraud. 
If you're not willing to leave it all out there for those players and that manager and that crowd that pay their hard-earned money week in and week out, then take your shirt off and get a shower. That's what I'd be saying. Uh, expected a huge reaction today, said Barry. But from the moment Darwin shoots, instead of putting Salah in the clear, uh, the decision making's been poor. Can't tackle, can't run. Everyone's a bag of nerves, fed up. Nerves is right. And again, I come back to Ian Doyle's comment that he said from his first one, the end of it. We need to start enjoying ourselves out there on the pitch again and not playing like there's fear. There's nothing to fear. We are our own worst enemies. Palace aren't a fearsome team. We're making them look like a fearsome team. We need to break Palace. And that needs to start with leadership. So somebody in that dressing room has to grab that team and say, 45 minutes, do it. There's no tomorrow. There's no next week. There's now. There's 45 minutes. Do it. Aliens followed LeBron James and took centre-back powers. I honestly do not understand. I don't know. I I don't want to be critical of Van Dyke or Canade or Darwin or Salah. But I don't understand what I'm seeing. Because this is a lack of desire. It's a lack of effort. It's a lack of commitment. Darwin plays better without Salah. Take Salah off and you will see. Honestly, said Benjamin Alfred. Get Trent, Diogo and Dom on. Come on, you red, said Taylor Long. Sobosly is coming on, by the way. Um, Sobosly is going to be coming on. Does VVD know he's captain, said Barry. Craig, you should be the next Liverpool manager. Got some good speeches. <coughs> Do you know what? Honestly, I'd like to imagine that something similar is going on in that dressing room. See Arsenal players here now arriving for the game against Villa. You can see the confidence brimming from them. Just on the walk-in, Arteta's all smiles. The players look confident, relaxed and ready to go. Our players look like they're fearing the occasion. And I don't know what they're fearing. Because they're playing against failure. That's it. It's them against their own destiny. They have the power to turn this around in 45 minutes. Nobody's going to do it for them. Klopp can't do it. You can't do it. I can't do it. The crowd can't do it. Those players, from the second the referee blows that whistle for the second half, need to show Crystal Palace... That a whole different team has showed up for this 45 minutes. And everything that came before is done. I don't know, but these guys look unmotivated. Darwin needs to be benched for a bit. Jota, Trent and Cody need to be on. New team manager, Ju. If we lose, take Salah off. Thank you for your super chat there. Uh, who was that one? Jules Verne. Thank you, mate. Second half to go. Do hit the subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, let's see if we can get to 255,000. Thank you again to our sponsors, Manscaped. Don't forget, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com by using our discount code Anfield20. Scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description or pinned to the top of the chat. 45 minutes, folks. 45 minutes to save our season. Or it's done. 45 to go. Let's see what we have in store. Liverpool attacking the cop end second half. We're on their way. We're on their way. Back to Canade. Pings one out diagonally. Does the decent thing out left side. Straight to a Palace player. Football is half skill and half between the ears. Said Daniel Nelson. I know mate. I know. We know the levels these guys have. Now they just need to show it. 
It's hard not to be critical when we're this poor. I know. I know, mate. I'm with you, Chris. Klopp saying he's leaving was the wrong decision, said Maddie Dals. Thank you for your super chat, Maddie. I mean, you cannot, yeah, the timing of it's not working out great here. Bit surprised again that he's only made one change, but on Bradley looks like he's got a knock there to his left leg. Right, I'm going to sink now 46 minutes. We are now at... Oh Bradley's getting treated. Just get Trent on if needs be. 46, 01, 02, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 46, 10. Uh, Marcus Caverne said, Tough game today. We're down but not out. Our history is full of comebacks. Let's keep believing. Yeah, but we need to see something as well, don't we, mate? We need to see something to make us believe. Trent is out there now, currently warming up while Connor Bradley receives a bit of treatment. It is uh, just at the bottom of his um, it's his instep that he seems to be struggling with. Trent's getting kitted out, so he's coming on. The fact that it's took an injury, by the way, for Klopp to get Trent on, I, I'm baffled by Bradley does look in a lot of discomfort. Trent putting the shirt on. Elliot's gone out to warm up as well. Come on, boys. Come on. Bradley back up to his feet, but he will be coming off. Unlucky for the young man. Hopefully it's not too bad. So it'll be Connor Bradley coming off and he does look in a lot of discomfort. I hope that's not too serious for the young man. So Trent will be coming on to replace Connor Bradley. Loads of comments in the chat about the atmosphere not being great. Obviously, I rely on you guys to keep me up to date on that because I, I listen to the or I watch the games in silence. Sobosly on who seemed disinterested or uninterested in the last game, said Harry. Right, anyway, that substitution is confirmed. Trent's on. Good to have him back. You're not in time with LFC TV. Okay, and? I'm not using LFC TV, so why would I care if I'm in time with them or not? Uh, I love the stream as always, Craig. We need Jada on. He's definitely our most prolific finisher. Mark my words, he will score if he comes on. Said Adam. Thank you, Adam, for your super chat. Ball's with Dean Henderson now. Who's taking every second he can here. Bradley should have been taken off. Trent will give us so many chances. Let's hope bring Jota on to finish those chances, said Footy Banter. I don't disagree that he wasn't having a good game. Um, he wasn't, to be fair. But the change is made now anyway. So <coughs> That injury, though, has taken any potential momentum out of the start of this second half. Get Dan's on. He's not on the bench, mate, so he won't be coming on. Why do we keep pumping long balls? It's... I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, Nalepsu. I don't know, my friend. Adam, thank you for gifting five memberships, mate. Appreciate you. Adam Kanu. Thank you, sir. Good looking out. Ball into the channel. Darwin's running ahead. He wasn't even looking. The ball hits him on the back. Throw into Liverpool. Far side. Verge, Trent, 
Plays the ball straight to a Palace player. That's it, Dom. Keep pressing. Keep going. Keep going. Trent pumps it forward. Ball goes out. Palace throw in. Again, Palace have done well to take the sting out of the first few minutes here, but not seeing the reaction we'd hoped for so far. 40 minutes left plus stoppage time. 250 away from hitting 255,000. If you haven't subbed, folks, please do. Again, it's all very messy here. Trent takes the throw in quickly to Verge. Trent again, he's playing the ball here and he doesn't even get past the man in front of him with the ball. Look, gifted away again in midfield. It's Will Hughes now for Palace into the left channel. Elise, ball across the front of the six-yard box. Again, look at this. Palace just having space to pass the ball around in our 18-yard box. Eventually, Endo's fouled. We run, just run the ball out of play down the left side. Darwin gets to the byline, trips over his own feet and blasts it behind for a goal kick. Everybody, even Klopp is too passive. The whole thing is just all too accepting of our fate. For the love of God, will somebody out there show some emotion? Somebody. They're all just accepting it. Klopp having a drink out of his water bottle. Nobody has any enthusiasm to actually get going here. McAllister, again closed down. Van Dyke heads the ball forward to a random area. Second ball breaks, Palace win it. McAllister has it now. Robertson to Jones. Coach Bill said even the commentators are telling Klopp to bring Jota on. Salah, again, just what? Feels like a nightmare, said Daniel Nelson. It does, mate. It definitely does. Salah. Oh. Ball goes behind for a corner. Again, we're trying to walk the ball into the net rather than hitting it. Darwin, again, poor touch, but he went, keeps the ball, plays it to Salah. Salah tries to cross it to Jones, and his attempted shot is blocked. Corner in. Hit it! Oh my god! How? Shot block from Darwin from three yards! Three yards! It's not unlucky. That's just crap. January 23 all over again. Lethargic and out of ideas, said Sean. 
How, you cannot miss from three yards. <sighs> McAllister. To Darwin. To Sa Salas touches Tyrone as well. What is Klopp waiting for? Honestly, what on earth is he waiting for? Another ball in, cleared by Anderson. Jota on Nunes off. Anfield is in the fortress no more, said Ashley Dooley. I mean, Klopp's, look at him. He's still pacing around with his hands behind his back. Fuck off. Honestly. Do something, Jürgen. Do something. He's walking up and out with his hands behind his back like nothing's happening. Nunes is so bad, we have to consider dropping him to Tom Cruise lover. What would you do, tactics or sub boys? Well, Jada on would be the very first thing that'd be happening. Elliot on would be happening. Gravenberg on would be. I don't really care. Just get anybody on that's willing to actually put a bit of effort in. That's lovely, Verds. Thank God for that five-yard sideways pass, mate, after dawdling on it for 15 seconds. Look at this long ball bullshit. Hope for the best stuff again. There's Jones getting dispossessed in midfield again. Maka, Trent, again giving the ball. Four times since Trent's been on, he hasn't got past the player one yard in front of him with a pass. Come on, lads. Allison, the verge. Out left side again. Corner to Liverpool. How is Salah misfiring so much, said Stu. I don't like him in this wide position, mate, because he's having to play his way in to get into a shooting area. I'd rather him central. In, in the wide position, he almost always has to play a 1-2 or something to get into position. Oh, my God. This time his control bounces off his thigh and gives the defender a chance to clear it, which they do. Canade, backheel, Van Dijk, Diaz, Salah. Oh, here. Come on. What is that? What is that? What is that control from Mo? Half an hour to go, 60 minutes on the clock. Throw in on this near side to Liverpool. Come on, boys. 
Honestly, I don't know what Jürgen's waiting for to get shot at on. Honestly, I don't know. Look at that again, gifting the ball away. We're panicking. Alison clears his lines. McAllister, Sobosloy, Trent again. Trent is being closed down every single time. He just hasn't got the sharpness there to get around the press that's right on him. Into the left channel now. Come on, boys. Let's go. Cross in. Again, Anderson heads it away for Palace. What is Klopp waiting for? 29 minutes. Klopp, get the players on. What are you waiting for? Your season's on the line. Diaz. Okay. Sobosly. Oh, Trent shoots again. Another six yards over the bar. Look at the look at this shot. Look how bad this is. Watch. It's the goal could have been stacked on top of each other and it still would have been over the bar. There was no conviction in that shot from Trent whatsoever. None. Zero. Just lean back and sky it. Brian said, you're right, they're trying to walk it into the goal. I just don't know what Klopp's waiting for. Like, what does he need to see? Does Darwin or Salah need to drop their pants and do a dookie in the centre spot to be taken off? Gakpo getting stripped off and ready to come on. Twenty-seven to go. Anderson, it's just come on, Trent. Tries to switch across. Palace get back and headed away. Jones. McAllister, Van Dyke. Why are we still just passing the ball around between our centre backs for the love of God? Van Dijk, center circle, out left side to Robbo. Any subs made? Yep. Um, Sobosly came on and Trent came on because Bradley picked up an injury. again we're just passing the ball around like we haven't got a care in the world here there's no rush to get this sorted out honest to god do they know we need two goals no urgency I know Daniel they're just strolling around there like they don't give a fuck just knocking the ball around back to the keeper now all brilliant just no urgency no cutting edge no belief 
Salah heads the ball back to Darwin. <coughs> Excuse me. Palace clear it again. Here comes a double change. Jota and Gakpo coming on to replace Darwin. Yes, Darwin, that's you, number nine. Off you pop. The, uh, he's, he's leaving Salah on again. He's leaving Salah on again. He's taken off Diaz, who at least looks like he gives a damn. I don't agree with that change. I don't mind Darwin coming off, but Salah should have been gone with him. Diaz looked like he was at least trying to do something. For the love of God. Gakpo. Oh! Rolls across past Jones. Still going. Gakpo. Robertson. Over hit straight through to Dean Henderson. So how's that not a handball? That. Of course not. Only United get handballs, lads. Only United get dodgy handballs. I'm fuming Salah stayed on. Darwin was in. Darwin was crap, Benjamin. Let's be honest. He was dirt. Diaz was the only forward who looked like he was actually trying to do something. Salah and Darwin should have both been taken off, in my opinion. Change here for Palace. Elise going off to be replaced by Jordan Ayew. Headed away again by Anderson. Trent. Soboslai. Salah back to Soboslai. Ball across. Cleared by Anderson. Liverpool corner. Come on, boys. Corner, Saba slide to take it. Cross in. Van Dyke heads it wide. Verge peels off Mitchell a little bit, gets a bit of space, gets a header, but can't direct it goalwards and it goes wide for a Palace goal kick. And time is ticking on. Canade. Honestly, I feel like bursting out in tears. I'm not even... I know I got bantered for it, but I feel like bursting out in tears right now at what we're looking at. McAllister into the left channel. Gakbo. Cross in, headed away by Palace. Well done, McAllister. 
Northern ball in, oh, cleared away. Oh, Jones again giving away stupid foul. Stop the momentum. Get a yellow card and give Palace possession. Absolute stupidity again. Look at this from Jones. Just no need for it. Just stupid. Stupid. Do you think we can win the title after this loss? No. Let's be honest. We said all week and we can't revisit it. Nothing but a win's acceptable today. A draw, we're out of the title race. In my opinion. I mean, how can you... It's a bit hard to keep believing when this is what we're looking at. This is the response that we were told was coming all week. Remember? You will see a response, I believe, was the comment from Jürgen. Where's the response, Jürgen? Because something ain't right here. 145 subscribers to go. Please do hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Would love any positive today. And getting to 255 would help. Soboslai. Oh, Jesus. Ah, no. No. That did not just happen. That didn't happen. I did not just see that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't have seen that. I did not just see another professional footballer miss a chance to an open goal from seven yards. I didn't see it. I didn't. I couldn't see it because if I'm seeing that, I'm admitting that these lads are actually losing the plot. I, I, I didn't. I did not just see that. I couldn't. I, 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 I. No, 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 no. Seventeen minutes to go. Oh, has anybody got a bit of rope? Because it feels like the only way we're going to score here is by tying their defenders to the post. Even then, we'll probably still find a way to hit them. Because that's what we... If, if the, the aim of this league was to have the most shots blocked, we'd be... Oh, look, nearly 2-0 as well. Oh, that's it, Verge. You get around and shout, Verge. Who are you shouting at? Who are you shouting at, Verge? Put a bit of effort into your defending. Counter attack. Jones threw on the keeper. Surely. Through on goal, one on one with the keeper, and he balloons it wide. Adds.
I, I've, I, I genuinely have no words. I have no words. Honestly, lad, no words. How can a professional footballer not hit the target one on one with a goalkeeper? How can a professional footballer not score from seven yards when there's one player back on the line and he's got the whole goal to pick from? I don't know, but all these questions are being answered right here today by air attackers. <clears throat> 14 minutes to score two. Or the season's over. From the league anyway. Palace making a triple change. Lads, honestly. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Another season where uh, all the promise of potentially finishing with some of the big ones looks like it's coming down to the your to the Carabao Cup. Fuck me. Three big chances, not one scored. Said Daniel, mate, it's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. As this is breaking me, honestly. Thirteen minutes, under thirteen minutes to score two and save our season. Gakpo to Canade. Gakpo again, ball in, cleared. Van Dijk. Canada overhits it and it goes behind for a goal kick. And Klopp's still fucking smiling, I swear to God. Still smiling. Ten to go. Ryan Johnson, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, mate. I'm staying silent because if I don't stay silent, I'm I'm just gonna end up regretting what I say. McAllister, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, folks. We're only 60 away from 255k. Be nice to get one positive today, but my God, this has been... It's just been quite simply pathetic. Against a bang average team as well. It's And look, they're carving us open again here. I 
Who was that to Trent? Who was that to Fella? <sighs> Again, 10 yards ahead of the next player and straight into the keeper. Klopp looks like he's resigned to accepting a fate, his fate here. Elliot's about to come on. Oh, come on, lads. At least give us something here. Come on. Something. A goal, is a finish, like a hectic finish. Something to show us that you've got a pair. Look at Salah. Look at him. Cowardly turning away from the ball. Look at him. Did you see that? He should have stuck his head in there to try and get a touch. But no. He goes like this. Nah. Nah. Jones off. Canadi looks like he's about to play hide and go seek there. They can, they're not going to not see you, Ibu. You're a big dude. Look, another one, another. Oh, free kick out. Of course, of course, of course. We make sure to give them an easy get out of jail free card. Free kick, let them roll around the ground and waste time. Bunch of geniuses. Ibu playing hide and go seek like he's got his nephew on his lap. Free kick to Liverpool, wide left. Robot to take the free kick in headed away by Palace Elliot crossing from Trent again cleared by Palace oh, look again we're getting bullied out there in possession Lads, honestly, this is fucking hell. Oh, what are we looking at? Ball into the right channel to Elliot. Cross deflection, cleared again by Palace. Throw in on the near side. 
Just a reminder, this is the 21st time we went behind in a game this season. To Bleeding Palace. Jesus. Gakpo. Jota. The Gakpo. Cuts inside, cross the far post. Elliot heads it back across again, saved by the keeper. Trent outside of the football in. Jota heads it down. Anderson hooks it away. I'd say Arsenal and City fans can't believe their luck. Honestly, I'd say they can't believe that. I cannot believe that this performance has happened today. I can't. I cannot believe what I'm looking at. And I don't even want to hear from any of the players after the game. They're all absolute cowards after this performance. Not one of them. Not one of them stood up. They deserve all the criticism that's coming their way. All of it. Because this is truly pathetic. Business end of the season and we've capitulated. Oh, God almighty. Ball out right side to Trent. Another cross blocked. Another cross deep. Gakpo. Jota. I'll tell you what, lads, this documentary is going to be an interesting watch when it comes out. I thought Klopp said we were going to respond, said Wolf Angel. I know, mate, I know, but we haven't. Two minutes to go. Corner. Another ball in, headed away by Anderson. Just as a start, Arsenal had scored Sheffield United and Palace 17-0, whilst we barely got beyond Sheffield United and can't do anything thus far. No passion, said Bumbadog. What a waste of a beautiful kit, said Siver. It's like they're playing rugby, said Ron. It's, it, it's the whole lot of them. From there, There's no redeeming comments to come here. We've given... All I can hope for is Arsenal go on and win it at this point because I can't stomach looking at Palace doing it again. But we have gifted, gifted them. We just, we've went out with a whimper, with a whimper. Heartbreaking, lads. Heartbreaking. About to hit stoppage time as well. Oh, lads. I don't even have words. Seven minutes. <coughs> Seven minutes added on. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. Welcome to my descent into madness. Cross in from Elliot. 
Salva Sly out left side. Cross in. Jota. Salah. Oh, fuck off. Just go. Just go. Just leave. Just go. Just please go. This is pathetic. Between him and Jota here from three yards. Three yards they've missed it again. Just, just please. Just stop. Lads, I don't know what to say. This is... Obviously, I can see all the banter in the chat. And look, who, I can't deny it. We deserve to be bantered for all of it. 21 shots, 6 on target. Twenty one shot six on target again. Going for four trophies a month ago and this is how our season finishes. That's how said Will. Salah again. Oh yeah, he's fallen over. Ah good. He's fallen over this time. You know, he didn't even try to shoot this time. He just decided to go straight for the fallen over part. You know, did he, he, fair play to him. No, fair play, lads. Fair play to Salah there. You know, he didn't want to worry us by thinking he might score. So he just decided to fall over instead of wasting another shot. Tactical. Tactical. Fall over instead of shooting. That's the new way forward. Just fall over. Yeah, that's it. Just fall over. Don't, don't, don't even bother shooting. Just, whoops. Fall over. Just. Oh, yeah, that's it. Wrong way, Mo. Oh, look, here's Alison in the opposition half. Four minutes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. There's nearly 12,000 people in the chat. God, I wish this was in better circumstances. I wish there was 12,000 people here as we go to celebrate a league title, but there's 12,000 people here as we absolutely bottle the league. Oh, look, Virgil's showing a bit of emotion now when he doesn't get a corner. Hasn't got the emotion throughout the game to lead the team, but has the emotion to bitch at the referee about not getting a corner. Nah, I'm sorry, lads. This is unacceptable. Heads need to roll. Heads need to roll. I don't care anymore. Sell Salah, sell Van Dyke. I don't care. Don't care. What's the point? What's the point? They're not playing for the jersey anymore. Get rid of them. I don't care. Nobody is above it. Get rid of them. This was the response. All week building up. This was the response. This is it. This is what this is what the manager means to these players. This is what fighting for a league title means to these flair, players. Absolute cowardly performance again. Cowardly. Cowardly. Weak. Pathetic. Disgusting. Uh, hey Craig Guna here from South Africa I expected this gift if we can't win it I want Liverpool to win it over the city scumbags I'm with you Clinton look we ain't going to win it so I hope Arsenal can go on and win it I'd rather see them win it over City two home losses in a week something stinks said Daniel yeah it does mate it does there's something we don't know about there's something going on we don't know about because 
something has capitulated here in the last couple of weeks. Brian said Michael Edwards needs to put uh, an enema into this team. And thank you, Brian, for your very, very generous super chat, mate. They honestly... Self-inflicted again. This is the first time we've had back-to-back -back home defeat since 2017. We've had six of the seven minutes. I don't know what the ref's talking about. Klopp's about to get a yellow, is he? Yeah, it's about time. You might as well fuck off down this. Into the dressing room, Klopp. Big talk for social media clicks, said Nessie. Yep, exactly. Because when it came to it today, hasn't got the bottle for it. I feel for us all today, honestly. Another one across the front of goal and it won't go in. It goes behind for a goal kick. It's over. It's over. The referee blows up. Liverpool have been beaten 1-0 by Crystal Palace. We're out of the title race. It's between Arsenal and Manchester City. Those players are cowards. Cowards. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear media sound bites. They're cowards. They had the chance today to make a statement after promising all week they were going to deliver, and they're a bunch of cowards. Cowards, each and every goddamn one of them. Virgil van Dijk couldn't lead a kid's party. Mohamed Salah is nowhere near the player he was. Darwin Nunes doesn't know what to do when he gets in front of goal. Don't want to hear excuses from them. Don't want to hear any sound bites. They bottled it. And nobody, and I mean nobody, can disagree. We bottled this. It's over to Arsenal and Manchester City. But we did not live up to our part of the bargain. We capitulated at home. After another capitulation. At home. They should all be ashamed. Ashamed of themselves. That was pathetic played better six weeks when half the team was injured absolute jokes at V Aaron sell Salah sell Van Dyke, and start again because these lads are done done Kwanzaa should start over Van Dyke. said Coca Vogel do hit the subscribe button before you head off I don't know what... Do you know what gets me? They're all standing around the pitch right now. Heartbroken. Like they left it all out there. Where was the effort during the game? Where was that emotion when you were bottling it against a shit palace at home? Where was the emotion? Standing around there now, heartbroken in the middle of the pitch when they didn't even try. They look like they care now, said Daniel. Embarrassing. Yes. Exactly. No good looking like you care now. No good standing around there looking heartbroken and forlorn when you've bottled it. 350 grand a week for Salah to miss two or three open goals. Virgil van Dijk, the captain's armband, and he couldn't lead a kid's party. Trent comes back and looks like he forgot what to do with the football. Darwin, I don't know what to say about Darwin. It, it, honestly. <sighs> 
Fair play to Palace. They did their job. I'm heartbroken. If the goal was bigger than the pitch, we'd still miss it to Justin Adams. Time to switch to baseball for the rest of the season, said Armando. Honestly, lads, I am heartbroken at that. Heads need to roll. Heads need to roll after that. And I tell you what, they can forget about that parade that they're planning because nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to celebrate this dross. I said it would be hard. I said after Thursday came to pass on vibes and fumes, gas run out. See, the gas running out part isn't even an excuse.